Masters and it's the FIFA World Cup this year in Russia. I've been watching it. I don't know if you guys have been paying attention to that. So I've been loving it. The games are in the morning and uh, so it's been pretty fun to watch and track. And the thing that Panini does is the sticker book. They do every uh, World Cup, the last few World Cups. Um, basically get uh, some stickers. I bought a whole box of it. I usually buy one box. You will not get the full set with one box. But I usually buy one box just to kind of do it while I'm watching the games. And uh, um, then after the World Cup, the boxes will come down to like, you know, half price. So I'll pick it up then, try to complete the set. All right, so base, just basic stickers. You got the players from each team, and you might have some locations and some other special ones. So basically just do that, and then you see they have the numbering on the back. So let's pick out number 43 for a Russia team. So you got the sticker, number 43. I'll stick it there on the page. Kind of fun trying to complete the full set of this. It's all in one little book. Only thing else I do is uh, if they score a goal, I'll mark on their card like a little line. Give me a track of the goal scorers too. So pretty cool. I'm pretty cool they do this every World Cup. I was trying to think. The only other sporting event I think they could probably do this book is uh, is probably like the Summer and Winter Olympics, which would be kind of cool. They could do like a whole page of one event, with some of the stars at the bottom, stuff like that. But uh, very cool little thing they put together, Panini Heavy World Cup. Uh, I'm looking forward to putting the stickers in as I watch the games. Alright, I'm going to crack open this BGS case with Kevin Durant. Um, I do this out in the garage because these shards can go everywhere when you break it and they're very sharp. So a little trick I figured out is put it in a plastic bag so the shards won't shoot everywhere. So I got it in the bag. So basically, just need some pliers. And I'm gonna break both ends off at the top here. I'm gonna go this way. Just trying to get the piece of a corner off. You don't need a big, big spot. Don't have to break out a bunch. Just like that. Let's do side number two. Same way. Pop. So the shards are stuck in here, so worked out pretty well. Now you basically got both corners, the card's still very safe. And then you take a flathead screwdriver, slide it on in there, just turn it a little bit. And then a little pressure up, a little pressure up. Pop, comes right off. So there's the stecker, just a little stecker. So now the card is in this sealed case. This is the most nerve-wracking part of it for me is cutting this off. Don't make sure you don't want to touch the card when you're cutting it. Right, just take your time, cut off the top. And out comes the card. Nice and safe. So this is probably going to my PC. That's why I wanted a 9 case. Um, plus I'm going to look at it just to make sure that it's not, uh, if I can send it back in, maybe get a 9.5. So. That's how I do it. Just walking through the post office. How's everybody doing today? Hoping you're having a great 4th of July. Eating a lot of good food, good barbecue, and we're gonna watch some fireworks tonight. Uh, be safe. Uh, I just got three things I'm gonna talk about today. Uh, the first thing, I was pretty excited. I'm heading back to the National in Cleveland. Uh, so that's less than a month from now, it's hard to believe. So I'm going to try to do some, maybe some live uh, videos from there. Maybe some, show you what kind of wax is up there. Some cool displays and stuff like that. So be on the lookout for that. And I'll probably be vlogging it. So that'll probably be my next vlog is the road to the Nationals. So keep an eye out for that. Bummer. The second thing I want to talk about is uh, group breaks. I am going to going to start try to do some more group breaks. Probably not until after the National, uh, the first week of August. You know, I'll pick up some awesome boxes up there that we can group break. But uh, I'm not going to do team event, teams. I don't have the patience or the time to do 30 different shipments per break. Uh, sorry about that. But uh, might do divisionals or might do uh, 
where like you know crown royal has four packs maybe you'll buy you'll get a random pack out of the box or something like that so let me know down below if uh you're interested in group breaks what sports or what kind of price range and maybe what type of format and uh, maybe we'll start those up i think maybe just one a month per sport or something like that i don't know they're kind of fun to do but i have to have more time to be able to package everything up and ship it and the final thing i want to talk about is uh I'm going to have a new type of series coming up. Uh, I'm not going to talk about it too much right now. Uh, it should be kind of cool. Um, probably only going to do a couple a month. Um, but it's basically, basically going to be a newer products that come out. So look for that. I'll let you know more about that when I finalize like what I'm going to do with it. But uh, I'm going to start shooting a couple of them and see how they turn out. So that'd be kind of cool. this up for the national this year they're selling t-shirts and uh, they're selling baseball football and basketball I like the baseball one the best so I got something to wear for uh, national maybe day one uh, that's it for today's vlog uh, thanks for everybody for watching and all support and we'll catch you next time <music>